today I'm going to be doing a full showcase of the Nightfall mod menu for Red Dead Online. If you guys have any interest in picking up this mod menu or any mod menu, make sure you guys use the link down in the description. I'll take you over to wickedgamers.com. That's gamers with a Z. And if you guys use code wicked at checkout, you know what it is. You'll get 5% off. All right, guys, starting off, it is F4 to open and close this menu. Once you have it open, you can navigate around with the arrow keys on your keyboard or the number pad. We're going to need to stick with the controller, though. All right, guys, starting off here in the self section here, if we get up to the top, you have your no clip. No clip, you guys know what it is. If you enable it, it'll let you fly around the map just like this man it feels like a shame to sh shoot those fish and then uh and then not use them but oh well guess guess it is what it is all right uh also here you can adjust your speed teleport speed and uh your invisibility here as well coming into the wardrobe option you do have your female outfits you can come in here give yourself different eyewears you can see we're wearing glasses now there's a few different other options there uh you can change the character's hair you know to anything you want like uh like that yeah if you want to have dreadlocks you can have dreadlocks all right guys continuing on here I'm not going to go through the rest of here because there's a lot of just outfit options which you guys know outfit options are pretty common and uh you can mess with that on your own time all right continue on here you do have your model changer here if you get down to all characters you can be an amarillo you can be a buck a, a cougar a dog um let's see what else is all the way down the list here i'm sure you guys want to see you know you can be a arabian red chestnut horse um yeah basically that's it let's go up to the top here once we get up here i believe we can switch the category to get over to humans oops i went too far uh males okay yes this person this is who we're gonna be all right continue on here you do have these spinning spheres around you just to show everyone that you are a true freaking badass there's no other reason to have this out or anyways um continuing on here if we go down to the god mode options here it's just going to keep you from uh you know getting killed you do have your never wanted here as well and able to make it so that uh you don't have never have the police coming after you you also have your infinite force cores here if you look under the menu you will see my cores are fully golded out like a boss all right guys continue on here you can have your spawn at place of birth here so if you die you'll spawn right here you have your infinite stamina infinite dead eye never cold because you're a badass, you never cold. All right, you get your super jump options here. You can see we're super jumping. You also have your invisible option here as well. No ragdoll here so that you do not go head over heels tumbling down a hill. And your suicide option. You can also come in here and adjust your uh, scale of your pedestrian here. <laughs> That's actually kind of sick. All right, uh, continuing on, you do have your clear character options, your auto clear character. Everyone ignores you there as well. Coming down to the player section here, I will show you guys this option here because I'm using a VPN and that's not my actual IP address. So you guys can actually see, we can teleport to a character, teleport, tell character character to you teleport to them you can crash the character rainbow smash crafts you can show their social club profile copy their outfit spectate it um you know give them chests of gold and bottles and all this other crazy stuff they can go sell there's also some treasure options down here you can throw them off their horse freeze them you know a lot of other helpful and non-helpful options here i'm not going to go through everyone because a lot of these are griefing options and i don't really believe in griefing in any you know gta or red dead online anyways guys continuing on here you do have your esp options here if you enable this you guys can see it put a character a box around myself and if there were other people near me you would also see theirs on there as well you can also give them skeletons that look kind of just like that anyways guys continuing on here you do have your notifications here you can notify if a player joins you or a player leaves uh you can show all players on the map just other esp options there nothing i mean there's a session browser here if you guys wanted to use that but you know most of you probably will not you do have vehicle options here you can uh you know call in a horse just like so um this freaking horse is massive um and you know you can call in different racing horses stuff like that also vehicles here as well trains coaches you know can just spawn them in get across the map use them for hunting wagons stuff like that uh other options down here you can repair the vehicle and then you can also do you know no ragdoll for the horse fearless horse god mode god mode for the vehicle you can make your horse extra fast uh you can have it so that it's shooting flames you can adjust the scale of it here as well and that's just about it for that section here there's obviously a couple other features in each section i'm going through but i'm just kind of showing you guys you know the ones you guys probably care about so you have your auto teleport to waypoint here so if you enable that and we close the menu and you know i don't know set a marker let's go over here we set a marker here 
when we close that and we've just spawned back there so that's kind of cool again f4 to open and close the menu again in the teleport section here you have all of your uh fixed teleports here so if you want to go to saint denis you can easily teleport here you know you want to go up to the north side of the map you can go to the frozen couple up here it does sometimes take a little bit to load in especially if my computer is not the most powerful thing these days for some reason crazy ass stuff going on in this menu right now all right uh so teleport options we kind of went through all of those they have a bunch of other fixed locations in here you can easily teleport to your world options here you do have your world op options here you can like edit the colors of the game and stuff like that you also have your world lights options here as well the weather option blizzards clouds drizzle fog ground blizzard uh, i just want it to be like clear sunny that works all right you can also come in here adjust the time to whatever time of the day you want pretty great options there adjust your snow level on the map um and uh, obviously we don't want snow here. So yeah, anyways, continue on here. You can freeze the time here so that it's always the same sunniness, which I like to do. If you disable water, let's see if it actually works. Mm, it looks like it did not. Oh, I actually, you know, this isn't even water. This is mud. So it actually would not be a good representation of that option. You can also disable camera restrictions here. You can disable your VRAM warning message. If you have a slow computer and you're always getting that, you know, you're running out of VRAM, you can easily come up here and enable that so that you do not keep getting that option. You can disable your camera shake. Uh, you can, you know, show blip to Madame Nazar here as well. Uh, and you can also disable your heads up display, which really just gets where your mini map. Continuing on here, you have your protections. These options, the ones that you need, are automatically enabled by default. They have a couple other things down here that they are, are not automatically enabled, but if you find that, you know, you're having problems with someone, you know, exploding you, you can come in here and block that and just like that but the important ones are here and are automatically enabled by default anyways continuing on here the recovery options here you have your gift loop and i will enable this in the top right hand corner of the screen i have an ultra wide monitor so i'll have to move the screen over there and show you guys you can see you know we're getting some gold and some money uh, as you can see i've used menus like this tons of times over 440 gold bars thirty-one thousand dollars, and you know you can easily come in here and just give yourself you know give yourself gold 13 dollars loops um you can give yourself all weapons in the game you have your roll boosters down here so you can it, it'll just speed up how much time how long it takes you to make money in the bounty hunter naturalist trader collector roll stuff like that you have your item spawners here as well um if you do this it is basically just going to give you them right into your bank account um anyways the settings section the last option here you can you know come in here assign hotkeys if you want to set what keys open and close the menu like i said f4 is the one that you use to open it you can also adjust you know your enter keys and stuff like that um and other than that you have your translations here this menu does come in english chinese and russian you can set up your interface so you know if you want it a little bit left a little bit right a little bit up a little bit down stuff like that you can save your settings here and load them next time you get in but guys that's it this is a crazy good budget menu really good undetected recoveries all the features you'll basically need in a menu that only costs what to be honest i don't even know how much it costs off the top of my head and i'll put it on the screen now but that's it guys if you guys want to pick this up like i said wickedgamers.com that's gamers with a z all right guys that's it i love you i'll see you in the next video peace out yeah